All right, so it's finally happening. Here is a full tutorial on how to play Joni Mitchell's A Case of You on the Appalachian Dulcimer. Okay, so first thing you're gonna wanna do is tune your Appalachian Dulcimer uh, the same pitch, like it's the same note. The, um, all strings have the same note. That's what I'm trying to say. So uh, the original I believe is C sharp, but we are going to be playing it in C and it really doesn't matter. You can play it in any key that doesn't matter for this exercise. Um, so that's an okay tuning. I, it's fine for now. And typically uh, these two, these three strings, so the melody strings, which are, they are right next to each other and the middle string are tuned the same. Ooh. And then the bass note is tuned an octave down. Uh, if you happen to have a three string dulcimer, that is totally fine. Um, that just means that instead of two harmony, uh, two melody strings, I'm sorry, uh, I hope it can pick it up here. Um, instead of two melody strings, uh, there's only gonna be one right there. Um, and uh, that's totally fine. Okay, so just so we stay super clear on where we are with our fingers, um, I'm just gonna go through and I'm gonna count uh, each fret with you and you can hear what they sound like so we know exactly which fret we're on. Okay, so here we go. Fret one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. I think that's the highest up we go. Um, but I just wanted to make that really clear so we both know that we're on the same page. All right. Now, the great thing about this song is that it's basically the whole, the same hand position throughout the whole uh, song. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our ring finger and our index finger, and we're gonna place them like so. So the, uh, the ring finger is always gonna be two frets away, well, almost always, gonna be two frets away from the index finger. And it's pretty much always gonna be, uh, it's pretty much always gonna be this way and that the ring finger is always closer to the head than the index finger. So as long as you keep this hand position, you can barely do anything wrong. Okay, so we're gonna start on the third fret with the ring finger. I'm gonna uh, use the ring finger as the, um, the marker finger to say which fret we're on um, because again, we're essentially always two frets apart. Okay. Okay, we're gonna start with the intro. We start on the third fret. Ring finger is on the third fret and we're gonna go from the third fret, four, five to the sixth fret. Now this is one of those times where the ring finger is, uh, the index finger is technically three frets apart, but it still feels like two because these frets are much shorter because they're a half note. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go from ring finger on third fret to ring finger on sixth fret. And then we're gonna go to uh, ninth fret, nine, eight, nine, back to six, and then back to, to five, four, three, two, three, one. And here comes a tricky bit because we're gonna lift our ring finger and only the index finger is gonna slide down one fret. And you have your index finger on the middle string Second fret. Ba, 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 da. Oh my god. Da, da. Closed. Uh, open. Open string. Okay, so we're gonna try that again. We're gonna go a little bit faster, okay? All right. Three, six, nine. index finger down to the second on the second fret all right that's the intro and that's actually pretty much the most complicated part of the song if I'm honest like uh, uh, so we'll just start at the top of the first verse so we're gonna go back to that original finger position we wore for the intro just before my love got lost. We are on the second fret with the ring finger 
you said, first fret. I am as constant as a northern star. And you said, we're going to go to ring fingers on the fourth fret. Constantly in the darkness. Three. Where is that at? Two. You, if you want me, one will be in the barn. The index finger. And then we're going to repeat the whole exercise one more time. Okay? One more time. On the back of a cartoon, the four coaster. derivation towards the chorus. We're going to on Canada. We're going to slide down from third fret on ring finger. Oh, to first. Oh, Canada. And we're going to stay there. We're not going to do the whole lifting the ring finger thing uh, right here. We're going to go back to ring finger on fret four with your name sketched on it twice. We're on the second fret. Great, okay, good job. If you're still following, I'm proud of you. All right, continuing on with the pre-chorus or arguably the chorus, we are going to go with the ring finger on three, four, five, six on fret six, and uh, the index finger is on fret nine. So again, this is the position where we technically are three frets apart, but we're actually, um, because these are half notes, we're not actually that far apart. It also doesn't feel much further apart than the other uh, positions, so. We've just come out of our face sketched on it twice. This is where we go to the pre-chorus. And we are going to slide our fingers up to number six here. Oh, but you are in my blood. We're going down again. You're on five right here. Then we go down, down to four. And we go down to three. And this is where we do this little slap strum rhythm here that's so iconic. So we go, and I could drink a case of you. All right, let's review that real quick. So we are going, uh, we're doing something called slap strumming. And this is something that is throughout the song. And I know it's not super, super easy to um, to learn, but you'll get super, you, you'll get used to it if you listen to the song a little bit. Um, I'm trying to, gonna stick to the chords mostly here. Um, because uh, the chords are more important to me than having the exact right slap strum. So, um, I could drink a case of you is, she follows uh, the lyrics with her playing here. So, I, we have ring finger on three, and we're gonna go down. So, three, and three, and three, two, one. Oh, darling. And we're gonna do a nice slide up to four, so it's gonna be on four and six. Still be on my feet. I would still be on my, and this is where the intro comes back in. So if you uh, if you don't quite remember that, go back and uh, go through that again. So on feet, we go back into the intro. So I'd be still be on my truck or something out there sorry okay so we have basically done the whole thing so we're gonna play through it um play through the whole thing i'm gonna sing along we're gonna do it really slowly okay intro We repeat. 
repeat that again on the back of a cartoon coaster in the new TV screen light. I drew a map of Canada. Oh, Canada. With <laughs> your face sketched on it twice. Okay, you still with me? You still with me? The focus is still with me? All right, we're gonna uh, go into the chorus. Oh, but you are in my blood, you're my holy wine. Okay, so I hope that gave you a little bit of an idea how it works. Um, I'll make sure to put some uh, numbers um, along the frets because I know this camera is kind of going in and out of focus. Um, if you want me to teach more about the slap strumming or um, any other part of the song, uh, please let me know in the comments below. I'm happy to do that. I'm so excited to share this music. Don't forget that all of her music is available for download. The transcriptions are avail available for download on her website, JoniMitchell.com. You go into the little transcriptions tab and she has both dulcimer and guitar transcriptions there, which is incredible. Um, thanks so much. Goodbye.